You're watching Channel Hua on a multilingual channel. Browse through the playlist for your preferred language, or click on the eye icon above for the Dutch audio. And this is the cooking series. Good evening. It's Thursday evening here. I'm tired. I just come from the office, but yes, I don't know. But I just feel like having something uh, a home cook, something from the homeland. Something from my region, something from my barrio, something that I usually had at home, something that my mother used to cook. And guess what? It is uh, sinigang, sinigang nadurado. For our viewers in Brazil, this can be translated into piche na sopa di tamarindo. Special greetings to Miriam, by the way. Muito obrigado per uh, apoyar a homolo. <laughs> It's simple and quick. Let's start immediately. I'll show you the uh, uh, ingredients. These are the ingredients. I have here Dorado that I bought from the Turkish supermarket. They're fresh. They're not from China. They're from the Mediterranean, so they're fresh because they are transported from a closer distance. Very fresh. I'm always uh, satisfied. In the absence of kangkong or camote, I'm using this uh, eggplant. The usual uh, basic ingredients: this uh, ginger and uh, what's this? <laughs> Onion. And since we don't have a tamarind tree here in Holland, I'm using an instant uh, some kind of mix. Salt. Here it's out. It's out of the frame. Salt. And as an option to give it a deeper or uh, more, let's say, complex flavor, uh, patis. And surprise, we'll be adding the one chili. Nothing more fresh than this, direct from the plant, chili, to give it more, uh, let's say, fire and color. Sinigan. And in this episode, we are inaugurating my newest uh, pan look how cute it is red it's no boiling so we can add the uh, of course we have to slice it first <laughs> we can add the uh, uh, basic ingredients but first let's pause for a moment and let's slice the uh, ingredients and while our dish is cooking while our synagogue is cooking I'd like to make a big shout out to the following to this uh, YouTubers in, mid in the Middle East who have become uh, regular viewers of our releases. First, to AJ Marasigan, uh, who despite having more than 130 or 34,000 subscribers, he is a regular viewer of us, you small YouTubers. And to OFW Qatar, I don't know, I don't, get your name because you didn't identify your name on your information tab but I uh, thank you very much and also someone from Lebanon Michai blogger for uh, returning and watch our new releases also so thank you to Miriam Realidade in Brazil for continuously viewing and liking our uh, releases despite the language barrier Miriam, muito obrigado. I, I won't forget to say thank you as well and to announce and thank you to my newest man in Biscayana, another man in Biscayana, Grace, don't be jealous, <laughs> my man in Biscayana, MP Ognes in Israel, Shalom, Kavarim, and I'd like to say, if, uh, whether you like it or not, you will be the official partner of Channel One in Israel. And thank you for your support, and let's see each other soon. And as, and as a token of appreciation to our subscribers, I'll be giving away several uh, uh, housewares from Europe. This uh, classic, uh, European classic uh, pepper grinder and this 
This one, for instance, is designed in uh, France by a well-renowned car company, Peugeot. I'll be giving away this to top 10 subscribers. The top 10 who have the most uh, comments. And this one as well, a uh, steel grater cheese or camote or carrots grater. It's solid and grade from Germany. The uh, promo or the competition is open to everyone, but you should be able to collect your prize at Im's place next to Channel 2 in Quezon City, here in Holland, in Heinhoven, or in Anda at our home in Pangasinan. Our program or our promo ends on Easter Sunday. So the more you like, the more you uh, co so the more comments you make, the more chances of winning. You'll be notified if you win. Let's resume our cooking. I think it's ready now. To AJ Marasigan in Qatar. Thank you also. Despite his big number of followers and subscribers, he's supporting us, young YouTubers. Thank you, AJ. And while waiting for that, let me share my snacks. It's, it reminds me of my childhood. The cheese curls, they used to sell them even uh, a la minuto. They, they, would be, they would buy a big sack like this and re retail them into small sacks. And the Jack and Jill, the cheese curls, of course, that's branded, but sweet memories of childhood. Mm. Sure. Really good. Let me finish this uh, leftover. It's a small bottle of wine which I got from my Oma, from my grandmother here in Holland. She gave it. She gave it to me as a birthday present. One of her birthday presents. And I've been. It's a small bottle. Very small. I just drank half of it last night. Let me finish it today. Look, how small the glass is compared to the... Oh, I mean, how small the bottle is compared to the glass. It's a... Uh, Cabernet Sera, Cabernet Sera, the grapes. Mm. It's really good. To the youngsters there, I'm not encouraging drinking or consumption of alcohol. This is wine, and in Europe, this is just part of, generally, just part of the uh, meal here. In France, even in Paris, they even serve uh, wine in, in fast foods, because, as I've said, it's part of the meal and the culture. It's not the same as the Toma Toma and the overnight Toma in Oman that, happen, that happens in in the Philippines. That's what we call it Numa. This not. This is just part of the meal. Our sinigang is ready. It's ready. Look how easy and fast it is. Beautiful, right? Let's cover it and turn up the flame. And this is my synagogue, quick and simple, the way it should be. And the question is, does it go well with wine? No, by its own. The wine, yes, with this one. 
synagogue the way it should be. So until next time here on Channel 1 as we bring you another uh, recipe. And don't forget, next time we'll see you at the garden. We alternate between gardening and kitchen series. Romulo here, your uncle and Kuya in Holland. Until next time, Dios Sagvati.